It is a measure of the gravity of the challenge we now face that I must today announce the exams will not go ahead this year. So basically, second year students have had their exams replaced by coursework, which sounds great until you look at the courseworks and realise they are dreadful. Well that was f dreadful. I've got five different modules, but basically today I'm focusing on the assessment that has been released for fluid dynamics. So that's a module I'm taking this semester. I do really enjoy it. The coursework is quite challenging, but I have managed to do the first question. The way that it works is we've roughly got about three days per coursework to get them finished. So today I'm hoping to get questions two and three done on my fluid dynamics. Fluid dynamics is a module that I enjoy the most this year, but it's also the one that is definitely hardest. This is just going to be more or less a study with me day so you'll get to see how I personally would tackle courseworks. I finished my cup of tea which means it's go time. Go time? What? It's coursework time. What minimum pressure should be maintained in a water mains pipe in order to make sure that the water can reach via secondary vertical pipe the tap located 10 meters above it? Pressure or on pressure, right. And that with the questions. Question two is split up into three parts and I think I've done the first part of it. The University of Leeds there's quite a lot of flexibility with the amount of modules that you can take from other schools in terms of I'm from the School of Maths and last year I was able to take a module from the School of Physics and this year the fluid dynamics module that we offer at our School of Maths so it's a maths module. More than half of our class are physics students and uh, I got told in the first workshop that physics students would find fluid dynamics a lot easier than math students, which was very reassuring. Now I'm going to move on to part two. So I'm doing quite well. It's just gone half nine. Kind of want to jump tart. Jump tart and a brew. No, I need to do this. I need to do my work. I need to do my work. Right. To water mains with pressure. So water mains PM. with all other modules it seems to be like here is what you do and here is how you apply it and here's loads and loads of questions with fluid dynamics it's like you could get so many different scenarios third and final part of this question now that looks horrendous i don't know how i'm supposed to even attempt that question i will cover you if i know that you got my back if we go in yeah you know I assumed it was a certain shape and it's not that shape like I sh probably should have read the question properly but I saw the diagram and I was like oh my gosh yeah it must just like be flat and then I realized it said spherical and then I was like wait spherical is like a sphere and then I realized I messed it up I know what I'm doing for this question I understand where I've gone wrong and what I've done I understand all of that I'm gonna get back to it and then once I've done that that finish that question i'm actually really happy because it means i can have an early lunch cool. life update as well um i'm trying to Ooh. i got a guitar which i can't play very well at all it's coming really handy with quarantine because i've been really bored and wanting to learn something new i'm still terrible at it and that is my favorite song to play I was also trying to learn e the song Eden, but I don't know if it, this is definitely going to go terrible. I kind of want to film my reaction to it if it goes terrible, because it's actually terrible. It sounds terrible. Is it because I'm picking 
the wrong string, mm. perhaps. I'm gonna go fill my water bottle up. I'll I'll be right back and you'll see me. Question number three. The thing is, they all carry equal weighting, so sometimes I wonder whether maybe I've just overcomplicated it slightly. Right, it's 20 past 11. Um, I'm gonna get an early lunch because I'm hungry. So I finished that question, I'm gonna go get my lunch, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do question three. Good job. Surprisingly, I haven't been as stressed as I thought I would be doing this coursework. I thought the whole time I would have just been there pulling my hair out and crying. But it's going, it's going alright so far. Right, so I'm going to move on to question three. So enjoy some time lapsing. But it's not enough, enough to let this go. Enough to let you know. Enough. Enough, she said. Enough, and how come? I have a dilemma, so I went and got a muffin to make me feel better. So basically, there's a question in the coursework, and there's literally a very similar question in the workshops. It's not very, it's not very similar. It's not very similar at all, but it's kind of the same concept, I guess. I went to this workshop, wrote up exactly what my workshop tutor did, and I cannot find the workshop anywhere. Like I've genuinely been looking in my folder full of stuff trying to find it somewhere but i just can't find it anywhere yeah i just i just have no idea where it's gone the solutions are online for the workshop but my fluid dynamics workshop guy is just really good at explaining everything <sighs> dilemma i'm gonna crack on do a bit more work now sorry for the rant i just thought I'd... complain five minutes later I thought I'd got somewhere with my question and then it's not gone the way that I wanted it to. However, I think I know what I'm doing now. Emphasis on the think, because I don't actually know. But sometimes I like to just switch up where I'm doing my work, which is why I'm on the floor at the moment. Right, let's, let's time lapse this. And I would have stopped to argue, but my teeth were broke. I said I love to contradict you, but my life's to joke. Our sister. She said, I'm no genius and I've lost myself. The books are on the table, the secrets on the shelf, and it's a one time to keep it slow. One and up, and here we go. Get her out today, and you may still be here tomorrow. Some say she Our flow is not going normal to it at this point, it's going directly to it. So it would vanish at theta equal pi. The frustrating part is it's the first part that all I need to know is ex exactly what the boundary condition is for it. We're saying it theta equals zero. Is there anything else? So along the wall, what is it along the walls then? Just theta. This just doesn't seem to. It's theta equals theta zero. It just says your name on Amazon. Oh, that's fine. I'm recording. Oh. Even though I don't know why I'm recording because I literally don't know what the f going on. <laughs> equals zero, right? I think I think that's what I'm going to use. Right, let's have it work. She said, honey, I'm yours. After a lot of research, I think I've figured out what the problem is. I'm gonna move everything back up onto my desk because I've finished having my little breakdown on the floor. I'm sure that I can change your mind. You just gotta give me time. And you can 
had my tea, had some enchiladas which was lovely. The sun is shining into my room which is beautiful. All my sisters have gone for a walk but I'm tempted to go for a walk. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna go for a walk. Right, we're gonna go for a walk. Let's go. What? What is it? It's so pretty. I feel like this is one of the really good things about where... Oh my gosh, stop. Oh my gosh, stop. Look. Oh my gosh. Oh my god! Wow! Yeah, so I'm almost home. I'm gonna crack on with question four when I get back. I'm actually really pleased to be able to get one, well, two questions done. I found last time when I did my like big piece of coursework for fluids, you usually spend a lot of, a lot of time compared to your other modules trying to check that it's right, because it's so theoretical. Got two questions left. Hopefully they won't be too hard. Question four looks quite short, but I feel like there's gonna be a lot of stuff behind it, so that'll be interesting. I'm home now, so enjoy watching me get back into uh, doing question four. She's with you every now and then You run off with the boys A message don't go through the noise She's upset, taxi home She just cries and she's on her own You just shrug and shake your head Find a girl to take to bed Aren't you glad you didn't say that baby Don't be mad but he knows you're crazy He has slight excuse he HAV Can I see him? They all see where it's getting be Aren't you glad you didn't say that baby Don't be mad but he knows you're crazy which I didn't expect to be able to do today, to be honest. I, I was looking through the lecture notes and the way that I first tried it was a very wrong way. And then I looked at the lecture notes and I found this like little hint, kind of a little formula. Let me add a little bit of spice to that. And I think I've done it. It's finding a solution to some initial value problems for linearized shallow water equations. I'm going to check them over in the morning though, because it's about it's just gone half eight now and my plan now is to just go over everything that i've done today and make a note on my laptop about what i'm gonna message my tutor about there's probably gonna be a lot of stuff but it's just a double check that what i'm doing is right and also so when i do email him i remember what what it was that i needed to email him about so hopefully that'll take me up until nine and then by nine i'll get a shower and then just chill for the rest of the evening yeah i'm just gonna make a note of everything that i've struggled with right i'm gonna write that up now shall i time lapse it yeah, go on then. Fluid Dynamics is one of the modules that I'm hoping to do the best in, but it's also the one that I could easily do the worst in because it's the one that's so easy to lose marks. The way that it's working with the assessments is that basically we've already done one coursework for Fluid Dynamics. It's probably similar in length to this one. I think I wrote like 16 pages for it. So I've already done that, that piece of coursework. Now the way that things are working for my university is basically your semester two grade will go from either of the following two whichever is highest so you're 60 percent of course what you've done so far so for fluid dynamics that's just one for all my other modules it's like four five so six percent course what you've done so far and then 40 percent this coursework or 
15% coursework you've done so far, 85% this coursework. I'm hoping, well, I really want a good mark in fluid dynamics. The coursework that I did last time, I managed to get 89 on, which I was really happy with after spending ages on it. So I hope, so hopefully if I, if I can take that as a 60%, it might boost this one up if this doesn't go as well, because this is definitely harder content. It's five to nine now. I'm gonna get a shower and just chill for the rest of the evening. And then I'm back up again early tomorrow for more fluid dynamics. I guess that is a 12 hour study with me really. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it then please give it a like and uh, it'd be great if you could subscribe as well if you're new to the channel and like I said I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all next time. Oh I didn't do my...